Hey, I'm Sandy Shrek, and today we're here for the how-to series on personal flowers. What we're going to be looking at today is a succulent cuff. So we created uh, the other day some cuffs out of roses, and so today we're going to look the more um, less traditional and look at a variety of succulents applied to that. So we're starting with a gelato ribbon from Berwick Offrey. Um, this is in the steel color, and then I've got U-glue strips and I'm just gonna come on to that ribbon. It's more of a matte finish, um, has a little bit of sheen to it, and has good tooth to be able to adhere that U-glue onto it. And then I'm just gonna come on, pull those covers off. <clears throat> and then in a way to ease time, what I'm gonna do on the um, seeded eucalyptus and some of the foliages. <laughs> okay, I didn't quite cut that short enough. So I'm gonna come in and we're just gonna tap some of these in right into the U-glue. They're gonna give great depth and dimension onto that. It's gonna add speed. Um, I use the U-glue as a mechanic to just come into, tap that in. So you can apply your filler flowers and some of your foliages the same way. And here we're just adding the textural element of the seeded eucalyptus as a base. So um, next I'm gonna start gluing in some of my um, succulents. All right, I got a little bit of green trick dianthus that I'm gonna add as some support systems for these succulents as well. Just a great finishing touch. So before I glue on my succulents, when I go here, now I'm gonna tie it on to either you have a PVC pipe. Um, in this case, I'm using a water bottle because if I do it on the flat surface, once I tie it on, I'll end up with a lot of spaces. So next I'm just gonna get some of my succulents ready here. So we kind of flip them bottoms up. So we've cut these um, off the plants. You wanna take off any of the dried material here and get it so that that um, stem is cut off so that it's a flat base to glue onto that surface. So prepping all our succulents and you're gonna use a significant amount of glue on these. So I come in and I catch some of the different petals as well. So this actually is removable. So I did a wedding this summer that we use succulents in the boutonnieres. Um, you'll see another video that I've um, used succulents as a boutonniere. They took them off and um, pulled the glue off, stuck them in the ground, and were able to um, plant those succulents out and save that. So it kind of becomes a keepsake as well. So we're just kind of prepping all of these so it allows it a little bit of time for the alcohol to um, be able to dissipate on those and then just come back and bring those succulents on there. So I'm having to hold it a little bit on till they adhere. You can see what a great updated look that that's gonna create. Thanks to Francis Weeks for all that inspiration. I'm using all those great natural textural elements. So I just have a couple smaller pieces that I'm gonna come in with here.
<clears throat> so I'll just give them one more little pat to be able to make sure that they adhere. And then if I need a little bit more under the larger one here, just gonna add a little bit more green trick to do a stabilization there. So another thing that you could add if you wanted to add a little bit more character, um, these are Calendiva blooms, but those work really well in this type of piece too. If you wanted to add a little bit more color in, you can see what that would do as well. So it can either be all green, the great succulent, but it's an awesome way to be able to create something that is a value piece um, using that ribbon cuff and is a great look. So here you see in roses, there in succulents. So we hope to try this new technique and do try our ribbon cuff.